Hey, what's going on guys? We're walking home from work right now. Uh, my, my wife, she had work off today, so I figured I'll just have her drive me to work and she could use the car for whatever, because she still doesn't have one. Uh, yet she's newer into the country. So uh, I, I just feel like it was a great opportunity to just let her just do whatever without it being a great inconvenience to commute. Um, and looks like she just got over to Target and we actually needed stuff from there. Um, but she got to Target when it was time for me to come home from work. And she was, you know, she was a little bummed out about it. But honestly, I, I this is a great opportunity for me because I was kind of talking about it. But so I live close enough to my job where it's a 20 minute walk. And if I'm, you know, running behind in this prep, I talked about possibly just like letting her use my car all the time. And I'll just walk to and from work to get uh, extra cardio in if I need it. And I guess I'm just kind of test running that today. I felt like it was a great opportunity to. And honestly, the, I mean, the weather is awesome right now. So it's, it was just perfect for me to do this. And I'm actually, you know, like, I was looking forward to walking. I sit in the truck all day, so it feels better on my joints to, like, walk around some instead of just go home and sit down again. So optimism, you know, <laughs> optimism, I guess, but enjoying it very much so. Yes, I was talking to my coach on the phone today and he was like, he was trying to make a point to me and I know the point he was trying to make. I just wasn't the best example because uh, he was talking about like not getting in my own head and just pretty much being okay, getting really flat and not worrying about how I look. And uh, my answer to that was like, oh, well, I really don't care because before that he was kind of talking about like, how's my, how's my stress level doing? And I said, it's at an all time low because it is. And, uh, and so I kind of transitioned into that. And I was like, no, dude, I wear like oversized stuff to uh, the gym all the time, all the time. And I I'm not concerned with that. I just want to make it to the show and I'm just doing whatever he says. And I said, maybe if I was uh, open bodybuilder sized, I might, I might get in my head a little bit about my weight on the scale and stuff, but I don't care right now. And he was talking about open level bodybuilders from there. And he was like, oh, well, even the open level guys, the best ones are not the biggest guys. And he's talking about Der uh, Derek Lunsford and Hadi Chupin. And the thing about that is, like, I get the point you're trying to make. Because it's true, like, they they weigh a lot lighter than many of the people next to them on stage. But uh, the problem with that is, you know, those guys did not win on that alone. Like, they had a lot of other characteristics at play that I would say, like, matter more than uh, just being small and in shape that they, they got them the victory and people were saying Derek's conditioning was a little questionable in some shots honestly I think that was like being very hypercritical because you know there's nitpicking which you kind of have to nitpick when you're talking about the best people in the world but it's like they they took it to the next level of nitpicking like nitpicking the nitpicking and I find that a little a little pointless but uh yeah so if I get the point he was trying to make you know, it's just like, don't worry about it and just trust the process. I'm already, I'm already well underway into doing that. I, I just, you have to approach it with the right, the right mindset or it kind of just screws you up. So, you know, another, another cool thing I saw over here was that there's the fire department, uh, which I always forget is actually like in this little pocket over here. So the fire department uh so this little this little town next door and i i kind of am interested in applying to be honest i think it like initially be a little bit of a pay cut to be honest but i mean given the chicago fire department and police uh salaries i would have to see if they're comparable to that i mean it's literally right next next door it's just te technically not chicago so i would have to see that because i have a few cop friends and they're making like $130,000 very easily. That's extremely good money. Um, I think you might want to make more, especially if you're like in a city like Chicago where you're actively um, uh, worrying about your own life. But yeah, like I wouldn't mind that. There's a lot of things that kind of go into my mind with the thought of that stuff though, which is like, you know the the shifts that a lot of these guys work are brutal but they have a lot of days off too 
but like also is that the best for bodybuilding because bodybuilding is 24 7 so it can't interf interfere with that or there's no point you know if like the days i'm working it's it's completely fucking with my ability to bodybuild it's not worth it but i would not mind applying and just seeing what they say i i, I think they do like one day on two days off or something which i bet is gonna take would take getting used to but like actually doing it i don't think it would be that bad but anyway yeah i'm just i'm actually I can't believe I'm breathing so heavy. Wow, that is a very loud fucking plane. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. This is, this is, it feels like a great idea. I'll see what my heart rate's at. Oh, look at that. I'm already like, uh, at a 128 heart rate. That's pretty good. A little extra cardio. If I, yeah, you know, like to and from work. Actually, I wouldn't mind doing this on days she has off during the week, but like going to and from work, that's extra 40 minutes of cardio a day. You could really put a dent in, into the, the, the fat loss. I think it would have to be like a gradual thing too, though, because uh, I would have to get used to it. If I started doing too much too soon, I think that would actually take away from how good I look. But I think if I like sparingly did a 20 minute walk home here or there right now and then transitioned later into doing it all the time, but like slowly, I think that would probably yield the best results for me. But I, I, it's also, I purposely chose the apartment that we live in based on the location. And I'm getting to take advantage of that choice right now by getting to walk home. I think another part that makes it really appealing to me is the weather's very drastic here all the time so even like during the summer it's sporadically raining and whatnot pretty consistently so it's just nice when you find a moment like this where you actually get to go outside and enjoy it because in the winter you can't do this uh even the months around the winter it's still too fucked up outside to really do this but this is perfect right now i'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt it's beautiful outside it's not overly hot and the sun's going down, so you kind of get the ambiance of that. It's pretty nice. But anyway, guys, kind of... Because I'm going to cut this one short. But anyway, yeah. If it comes down to it, just take advantage of little, little moments you can. If I was in the middle of bulking, I would not want to do this right now. But I'm in a situation where I could use my environment to my benefit. And that's what I'm doing. Making the most out of what I have at hand. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your evening. I'm enjoying mine. I'll see you on the next one.